So we're gonna just, just do a little more muscle tissue work here. So this is a percussive instrument as opposed to our older massagers. So this is going up and down, up and down, whereas the old massagers would just kind of vibrate. So this is more so that I can kind of hit a spot multiple times and get the soft tissue to respond. All right, so next. The next thing we're gonna use on Shauna is some cupping, but not in the traditional sense. Um, we're not using any meridian points. We're gonna call this pneumatic decompression of the muscle tissue. So we're gonna use, just like we use the acupuncture needles to, um, to do something different than acupuncture, we're gonna use cupping cups to um, use it in a kind of a different philosophical way. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to decompress uh, the muscle tissue. We're trying to draw some fluid, blood, and lymph through the muscle tissue in an effort to heal it. Um, and we do it with a little bit of movement typically. And most of the times I don't leave the red circle marks that you might have seen on some of the athletes. And I actually like to move it around while they're moving the leg. So we're gonna just kind of demonstrate it. I'll put some more cream here, some more 24-7 R&R relief and recovery clean. So we're gonna put a little uh, pressure in there. We're gonna create a vacuum and we have a vacuum seal on the muscle tissue here. So what we do is we, I kind of move it around like this as, uh, okay, sit back again, Shauna, and then you're gonna just, you know, flex, extend, yeah, there you go. So we move it, so I'm trying to, again, decompress and separate all the different pieces in the muscle tissue, the fascia, any adhesions. We're just trying to use this cupping to tool to create a pneumatic decompression of all these soft tissue structures. And I use the cream to help it glide and make it hold it for a little while. So you see there's not one spot that I'm holding it on. And if you look back, uh, Shauna's moving her leg up and down. She's contracting the muscle. It's making it work. And again, we could apply these same principles to any joint in the body, okay? Sometimes we would, to, we can, if we were trying to do a direct decompression of an area, you could leave it on like this for a little while, uh, and then you would just release it like that. All right? That was easy. We might do it a little longer, but we've already did so much to her knee. We're gonna back off a little bit.